In the first few weeks, newborns operate on their own unique sleep schedule. You might find your little one seemingly active at night and sleepy during the day. This irregular sleep-wake cycle is entirely normal as they adjust to life outside the womb. In those initial weeks, your newborn is navigating their way through a brand new world and their sleep patterns may seem a bit perplexing. You might find your little one more active at night and seemingly sleepy during the day. This irregular sleep-wake cycle is entirely normal as they adjust to life outside the womb. Babies at this stage are still influenced by the rhythms of your pregnancy, so be patient as they find their own unique sleep groove. Ooh, my bad, I'm now forgetting to greet you. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Parenting Genie. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of newborn sleep patterns. If you're a new parent or soon-to-be parent, you're in the right place. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our parenting insights. Now, let's explore the evolution of sleep patterns in the first year of a baby's life. Now, let's explore why these early sleep patterns are more than just a series of random events. The irregular sleep-wake cycles actually play a crucial role in your baby's neurological and cognitive development. During the deepest phases of sleep, essential growth hormones are released, promoting physical development. The lighter phases of sleep, where your baby might seem more alert, are vital for brain development and forming important neural connections. As a parent, adapting to these unpredictable schedules can be challenging, but understanding the science behind it can make the journey smoother. Embrace the flexibility that comes with this phase and remember that responsive parenting is key. Responding promptly to your baby's needs builds trust and fosters a secure attachment. We'll discuss practical tips for soothing techniques, creating a calming sleep environment, and how to manage your own sleep to navigate through these early weeks. The first three months, the fourth trimester. Moving into the first three months, many experts refer to this period as the fourth trimester. During this time, your baby is still strongly influenced by the comforting sounds and motions of the womb. This can make the transition to the outside world a bit challenging. Now, let's delve into practical tips for creating a supportive sleep environment that helps your baby feel secure and nurtured. One of the first things you can do is mimic the sounds of the womb. White noise machines, soft lullabies, or even recordings of your heartbeat can create a soothing atmosphere for your little one. Ensuring a comfortable sleep space is also crucial. Invest in a quality crib mattress and soft, breathable bedding. Swaddling can mimic the cosy feeling of being in the womb and help your baby sleep more soundly. However, always be cautious with safe swaddling practices, ensuring your baby has enough room for their hips to move. Dim the lights during nighttime feedings and diaper changes to maintain a calm environment. This helps signal to your baby that it's time to rest. During the day, expose them to natural light to regulate their circadian rhythm. As a parent, embrace baby wearing or using a baby swing during naps to provide that gentle, rhythmic motion they experienced in utero. And let's not forget about the power of scent. Your baby recognizes your scent, so consider placing a piece of clothing you've worn near their sleep area. These practical tips not only contribute to a more supportive sleep environment, but also foster a sense of security for your newborn during this crucial fourth trimester period. As always, every baby is different, so feel free to adapt these tips based on your unique situation. The emergence of a sleep routine. As we enter the second quarter, you'll start noticing the emergence of more predictable patterns. This is a fantastic time to introduce a bedtime routine. Whether it's a warm bath, a lullaby, or a gentle massage, establishing consistency is key. Let's explore why routines are crucial for a baby's sleep development, the science behind creating a calming bedtime ritual, and how it sets the foundation for healthy sleep habits. But beyond the science, let me share some personal experiences. 
when my own little one was going through this phase, we discovered the magic of a bedtime story. Not only did it create a calming routine, but it also became a special bonding moment. I've heard from many parents in our community who have shared their unique bedtime rituals, from playing soft music to incorporating a favorite stuffed animal. These small personal touches can make a big difference in creating a comforting atmosphere for your baby. And speaking of our community, in the comments below, feel free to share your own bedtime routine experiences. It's a fantastic way for all of us to learn from each other and discover new ideas that might work wonders for our little ones. Sleep regressions and challenges. Now, let's talk about the infamous sleep regressions. Around the six month mark, many parents find their little ones experiencing disruptions in their sleep patterns. We'll delve into what causes these regressions, how to identify them, and most importantly, share some practical tips for navigating through these challenging phases. But before we get into the tips, let me share some stories from our community about how they tackled sleep regressions. One parent mentioned implementing a consistent calming bedtime routine during regression periods, which seemed to provide extra comfort for their baby. Another parent shared the success they had with introducing a transitional object, like a soft blanket or a favorite toy, to help soothe their little one during night wakings. We also heard from a mum who found success in adjusting her baby's daytime routine to ensure they were well rested during the day, which surprisingly helped improve nighttime sleep during regression. And these are just a few examples. In the comments, please share your own experiences with sleep regressions and the strategies that worked for you. Your insights could be incredibly valuable for others who might be going through similar challenges right now. Together, we can create a supportive space for parents navigating the sometimes rocky road of sleep regressions. Transitioning to a more mature sleep pattern as we approach the end of the first year, you'll likely witness a shift towards a more mature sleep pattern. Longer stretches at night and consolidated naps are signs that your baby is adapting to a more predictable routine. In this segment, let's explore how you can adapt your sleep strategies to best support your baby's changing needs. Firstly, it's crucial to recognize that what worked for your newborn might need adjustments as they grow babies undergo significant developmental milestones during the first year, such as teething, learning to crawl, and eventually taking those first steps. These milestones can impact sleep patterns, so staying attuned to your baby's cues is essential. Now let's talk about the importance of adapting bedtime routines. As your baby becomes more aware of their surroundings and forms preferences, you might find that certain elements of the bedtime routine need tweaking. Maybe they have a new favorite lullaby or a particular book they enjoy. Adapting the routine to their evolving preferences fosters a sense of autonomy and comfort. Another crucial aspect is adjusting sleep schedules. As your baby grows, their sleep needs change. Understanding age-appropriate sleep durations and nap frequencies is key. It might be time to transition from multiple short naps to fewer longer naps. And of course, don't forget to adapt your sleep environment. If your baby has outgrown their bassinet, it could be time to transition to a crib. It's also worth noting that sleep training methods may need reconsideration. What worked for gentle sleep training during the earlier months might need modification as your baby becomes more independent. Always prioritize responsive parenting, ensuring your baby feels secure and comforted during these changes. Now, here's where your experiences come in. In the comments, share how you've adapted your sleep strategies as your baby has grown. Have you introduced new elements to the bedtime routine, adjusted sleep schedules, or transitioned to a new sleep environment? Your insights can be incredibly valuable for others navigating this transition. Creating a sleep-friendly environment. 
Now, let's talk about creating the perfect sleep haven for your little one. We'll delve into the importance of sleep associations, safety considerations, and practical tips to make your baby's sleep space cozy and secure. We'll cover it all in this exploration of creating a sleep-friendly environment. The right crib. Selecting the right crib is paramount. Ensure it meets safety standards, with slats close enough to prevent little heads from getting stuck. The mattress should be firm and no soft bedding or toys should be in the crib during sleep. We often get questions about co-sleeping and while it's a personal choice, it's essential to follow safety guidelines if you decide to share a sleep space. Introducing a lovey. Introducing a lovey, a soft and comforting object, can aid in soothing your baby. However, it's crucial to wait until around the age of one to reduce the risk of suffocation. When you do introduce a lovey, choose something small, breathable and easily washable. Many parents find that having a familiar lovey helps their little one feel secure during the night. Managing room temperature. Maintaining the right room temperature is often overlooked but plays a significant role in sleep quality. The ideal room temperature for a baby's sleep is around 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 22 degrees Celsius. Dress your baby appropriately for the temperature and consider using a sleep sack to keep them warm without loose bedding. Dim lighting and white noise. Creating a calming atmosphere is key. Dim the lights during nighttime feedings and diaper changes to signal that it's time to rest. Consider using blackout curtains to block out external light sources. Many parents find white noise machines helpful for drowning out household sounds and creating a consistent sleep environment. Safe sleep practices. We can't emphasize enough the importance of safe sleep practices. Always place your baby on their back to sleep and avoid soft bedding, pillows and toys in the crib. Regularly check that the crib meets safety standards and has not been recalled. Following these guidelines significantly reduces the risk of sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS. Remember, this is a journey of exploration. Your baby is unique and what works for one may not work for another. It's essential to stay attuned to your baby's cues and be flexible in adapting the sleep environment based on their evolving needs. In the comments, share any tips you've discovered when creating a sleep-friendly space for your little one. Your experiences might just be the inspiration another parent needs. Well, that wraps up our journey into the evolution of newborn sleep patterns in the first year. Remember, every baby is unique and there's no one-size-fits-all approach. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with other parents and let us know your experiences in the comments. Thanks for joining us today on Parenting Genie and until next time, happy parenting! Before you go, make sure to check out some of our other parenting videos on related topics. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, sleep well, both you and your little ones. Bye for now.